Hey, today we are going to model a creeper from Minecraft. So let's just try to find some good reference image. And once we find one, maybe I'll use this one as this got some good resolution. So just click on it and I will save it. Let's save it on the desktop, save it and open the blender. So inside the blender, I will go to the front view by pressing 1 on the numpad and here we can just drag and drop our picture we've just downloaded. So we've got it, maybe I will just try to scale it up, so I just press S to scale it, I will G to grab and move and here we have it. I'm not going to make any texture, I will do everything as a materials to keep it simple. So first of all we have to just count how many faces we can see. I will start from the head, so here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got 8 little cubes on 8 little cubes going downwards. So we have to get our cube and I will just enter edit mode by going to this option and choosing edit mode or just by pressing tab on your keyboard. Now we want to subdivide our cube on eight little faces. So we can just right click and choose subdivide like so. So now we've got two on two and keep going. Now we've got four on four and do it one more time. And now we've got like eight on eight, which is what we are looking for. So maybe let's just do uh, some materials straight away. So I just enter the edit mode. I will choose this selection so that we can face select. So as you can see, there is some shortcut. If you press one, two or three on your keyboard, you can move between these selection modes. So I just, maybe I will just grab this creeper and move it quite close so we have a good reference on how to make our own enter edit mode and now we can move to the material tab. Just click on this red material tab and here you can see that we've got some material straight away. I will just name it to creeper and as you can see there is a lot of green so I will just use some something that I think is most used and I think is this one. So now I will just switch to some other view mode and let's add some more materials. Just plus button, new, and I will call it maybe creeper2 and I will just use some different color. Let me see, maybe this one, the darker one, and I will assign the face cube to it. Let's add one more. I just don't want to spend time on naming them but it looks like I have to do it and I will just choose another color, maybe this one and let me choose one more and maybe later if we decide that we need some more materials then we will create them. Just click on it and let me choose maybe, maybe this one, I don't think I had it. Okay. So now I will save our project to not have any unpleasant surprises. Just press on desktop and I will call it creeper. Save Blender file. And now we want to color our head and we want to make it randomly. At least I want to make it randomly. We've got the whole head covered with this first material. So now I want to use some of the other one. So there is some select option and here you can choose select random. And here if we just expand this window, we can choose how many percentage we want to cover. And I think we we'll use like 25 or so. And maybe we'll just change the seat so that we have different selection. And now I will just click on the other material and choose assign. And now we've got some random materials attached to it, but it's not over. We want to do it one more time or two more times really. So select and choose select random. We've got 25, which is good. And let's choose the other material and do it again with the 
last material select and choose select random and let me change the seed maybe so I do something like that and use the fourth material I know it's not exactly the same we can change it later on if we really want to but at the moment this is still fine and let's add eyes and the mouth so we need to add two more materials and I'll call it black and I'll call it red as well choose some color that will be the same as the one on the image we downloaded so so now we want to make some black parts let's go here and we've got two on two so let's faces space and do something like that then we want to make mouth like so use black and assign so here we have it and now we have to do eyes and this is kind of a square inside so we have to make a square out of those four squares so in order to do it I will just choose those four faces and choose I which is inset faces but we want to do exactly the same thing on both eyes so we just control Z and select it again and now I will select the other eye and then I click I again to have both eyes done symmetrically like so and now we have to change the material just go down assign red and here it is our creepers head is ready so now we are going to do our body let's just go to the front view and let's count it two four six eight by four so now we are going to make eight by four and the height is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have 8 by 4 by 12. So let's just create it. So because our head is 8 now and we have to make a 12 to go down. So I will just create a new cube which is the same as the head one and to keep it the same size we have to scale it up by 1.5 so because the body is 1.5 as tall as the head so in order to do it I will just scale on Z so I press S now Z and now we just type 1.5 I will move it down by G and Z and now we have to scale it on the Y axis and we have to make it half of it so I will just scale Y and now I will press 0.5 and now our body is a good dimension I will just apply scale and enter the edit mode now we have to add some loop cuts we've got an option here loop cut and the shortcut for it is Ctrl R so I will just use it Ctrl R and we need like seven loop cuts to have eight faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be it. Just press escape now. Once it's done, we need to add another loop cuts on other sides. We need three loop cuts on the side. So just one click and then escape to make it in the center. And now we need another loop cuts in here and we need 15 of them so I will just click wherever they are and I will just escape it and here I will just press 11 as we need 11 loop cuts and I think that should be it really I will just choose the face select and now we can just assign the materials as we did with the head I will click add and then I use creeper 2 then I will add use creeper 3 and I will do the same for other materials as well and we have them now I will select and choose select random and just assign other material to it and I will unselect everything put select select random I will change the seed maybe to have it something different 
and choose other material and I think this is the wrong one or we have two materials that are pretty much the same so I will change the fourth material to some different value choose something from our reference image okay that should be fine I will just select it once again select random and assign and let's do it one more time select random I will change the seed and choose the last material and this is how it's looking for now I'll save it and all we need is four legs which will be pretty much the same so let's create them out of the body so we don't have to play with those materials once again so we just duplicate it by shift D and leave them where they are I will just grab them and choose Z so that we slide them down on the Z axis and here as you can see it's 2, 4, 6 by 4 and by 4 I believe so we have to cut it in the middle and then cut it in the middle as well on the other axis so let's go to the front and now I will choose this X-ray mode and face selection and now I will just press B so that we can get rid of the left part and choose delete faces and now we want to get rid of the top or the bottom it's up to you really so I will go to the side and press B one more time and we need six faces to be left like so okay this is pretty much done and I will choose edge selection now I will get out of the x-ray mode try select edges and I will choose bridge edge loops like so I will select those edges and we'll try to do the same thing now I right click and choose bridge edge loops and now we have sides ready and now I will use Control R and do three loop cuts which should be pretty much same as the other ones and now if you press on it you can see that there is no connection so in order to make a connection we have to just to select everything so I pressed A now go to vertex and merge vertices uh, by distance so that should work we can increase it a little bit to be sure that everything is connected let me go back here and click again and now as you can see all the vertices should have been connected and I believe they are but now we have to do some random material assignments so let's go back into the edit mode press 3 to have face selection and go to select select random and let's add some different materials to it select a random choose some other one and I think we might leave it as it is for now and as you can see we've got some darker materials on the bottom we've got the black one already we can add it and choose the black but there is some dark green as well so I think I will add it call it dark green and let's choose it from the reference image and I will do it manually so I go to the front view and choose every other one like so and like so use the black and now let's choose other four and choose dark green and here we have it so now we have to add three more legs I will just duplicate it so shift D and we want to move it on the X so let's move it on the X I can press control so it snaps nicely to the grid so we just go to the side view by pressing 3 on the numpad and now I just press G to grab and with the control I will try to snap them but if they don't want to snap nicely it means that something is not placed correctly so I will just click on the body and as you can see it goes above the head which is not good so I will just grab it and choose control which is not great as well so we might just 
go into the object mode and there was a function to snap selection to grid like so and now if we grab it again and choose control it should snap nicely to the place now let's just grab two legs go to the side view and the G with control and it should snap nicely if it doesn't then do the same thing so right click on it snap selection to grid if it still doesn't work just go down do the same thing when you are zoomed out because it makes a difference so right snap to the grid and now as you can see it was snapped so let's g control and it's up to you if you want to have it on the edge just leave it as it is let's rotate it and i think we will leave it as it is so now to move it to the back we need to duplicate them first so shift d here we've got it i will just press escape to leave them where they are three on the numpad to go to the side view and now i will press g and control to move them to the right and they are in the good position now we want to rotate them so that these dark colors are facing the back of the creeper or we might scale them so let's try scaling them so i just press scale y and press minus one so now if we rotate it you can see that this is really what we wanted to achieve i will save our image and at the end we might just rotate it a bit so in order to rotate it along this axis change its pivot point because at the moment when we try to rotate it it rotates in the middle and we don't want it so let's just press edge selection and choose those two edges for example and now just shift s and let's choose cursor to select it and once we've got ah okay because some other faces were selected as well we don't want that we want only this vertex really to be selected and now we can press shift s cursor to select it and we can choose object set origin to 3d cursor and now if we rotate it it rotates along this axis which is something we want we might do this with other ones as well mm, so just click on it and choose the vertex in the middle shift s cursor to select it object set origin to 3d cursor and now we can rotate it as well maybe it would be quicker and easier just to duplicate those legs once again with the one that is already prepared but this is a good practice if you didn't know how to do it before and once you comfortable with using it it's doesn't take that much time really to do it and as you can see we already have done it i will save it and the good practice is either to make some empty object to hold our creeper or just join it all together into one object but i think i will create some empty to to hold our creeper so i just shift a and choose empty plane axis I will just scale it up a little bit and move it up so we've got it maybe I'll put it in the middle so just shift s and choose selection to word origin uh, selection to to cursor and now I will move it up a little bit so it's above the creeper and now I will just get all of those objects and we'll just select the empty as the last one and we'll use ctrl p object and now if we just grab the empty we have our creeper selected and we can move it freely i will just change the name of it to the creeper and just rotate the legs so just keep r i will press r and then x so we want to rotate it along the x axis okay i think i'll leave it as it is so our creeper is ready and now we can do with it whatever we want